Hello and welcome to Sundays' Perfect Podcast. I'm Angie, also known as Sundays920. And this is Leo. Leo. His nickname is Leo. He hasn't made me in a while. He's been napping a lot. And welcome to episode 15 of the podcast. And any new viewer that like to say welcome and thank you for joining me today. And all the return, returning viewers, thank you for coming back each week. And today we have a little news in the scratching post, a few things on the clothes, one thing off the clothes, a few purred, and the kitty in the sun patch. So let's get going. Alrighty, not a lot of news, really not much news at all in the Scratch and Post. I just want to remind everybody about the Christmas cow that is going on now through, is it November? I think. <laughs> I'd have to look. But um, that's going on, and um, so you can post any gifts or whatever, holiday knitting. Gift knitting, I don't care. <laughs> Just be have to be a member of the group to be eligible for prizes. And that's really all the scratch and post news I got for you. So let's go see what's on my claws. Alrighty, on the claws. I've been working quite a bit on my stripy socks, and I am about to do that kick out heel. I've got one sock completely done, and I'm just waiting to do the little afterthought heel. I've got to cut it and all that good stuff. And I just used a, you know, just a vanilla sock pattern. Basically, I just followed the seaweed top pattern and just did it with the seaweed pattern there. And I'm using I'm using my Addy Turbo Sock Rocket U.S. size one. I guess it's 2.5 millimeter. And I like them, but they're like really, really slippery. And I guess I don't like real, real slippery needles. So, or I don't hate them, they're probably not my favorites. But if you like like really slippery needles, then you should get these. And I do like the the cable is real good for magic loop. So, so not a bad needle, but probably not one of my favorites. So. But I'll still knit with them. And I have another sock that I think I'll be going to on my needles. So I've got my stripy socks and my little raccoon bird leg bag. And my other sock is the new pattern out by Lauren. McMartin? Is that right? Let me see. It is the Rainbow Explosion pattern. And I'll bring a picture up. There you go. Let me open. Sorry. Well, you kind of see it, but it is the Rainbow Explosion. And I am. I just. Cast that on. Ah, find it here. It's in the silver pumpkin back. I am using the cyborg craft room uh, unicorn rainbow glitter fight because it is a spark light base. You can't tell. 
It's not really showing up very good. You can't really see all the colors on there. You see mostly. But. I do have. Almost finished the. T I had to frog it and restart it. So all I have is the toe right now. And I was having difficulty with. She has a. A yarn over. <laughs> uh. A yarn over or back or something, I forget what it is. It's a different yarn over. And I, for some reason, just I wasn't getting it. But I finally got it, so I ripped it out so that I wouldn't have it. It was looking funky. So, got the toe. You kind of see the different colors there. And it's a great pattern. It's got practice because I did like two repeats before I finally got the hang of that yarn over. <laughs> so yeah. But um so it's it's a really enjoyable pattern. It's not hard and she, again she has like tutorials, a YouTube video, pictures. So if you like it and you feel like you're just like a newbie sock knitter or something I still cause I'm not I haven't met that many pairs of socks and like her seaweed sock was like incredibly easy and it wasn't hard and this one it's not hard either so enjoying that I am amazed though with the those that design stuff because there's no way. My brain was not worked that way, so I'm always quite impressed. Because you're very impressive, Lauren. So, but that's a good sock pattern if you want to check it out. It is a paid pattern. And then the other thing, which I didn't show y'all the picture of it, is the Bee Leaf Half Pie Shawl by Kimberly. I'm not even going to try to pronounce her name because I'll mess it up. But this is. It. Can, oh, there you go. So that's the beanie pie shawl, and I did not get that much done. I'm trying to do the twelve week because she has it broke down, and I'm trying to do the twelve week, but I haven't succeeded. But and I probably I didn't mark it, but I think I may have just got like one or two rows, <laughs> so not a lot done on my shawl. But, but I'm using her Sock Bunny Studios, uh, what is it, Lavender Lace, I think. Yeah, Lavender Lace, and it's the Fleece Call Box. And, oh, what? I want to tell you that, like, I'm using my Chow Goose for my other sock. There, I'm using my Chow Goo, but, and I love my Chow Goo, I really do. But the one thing I would say is I wouldn't want to use them for magic loop. The cable is like a real thick. It's much thicker than others, like than my high highs or even the Addy Sock Rockers. So I use two uh, circulars. So, but I really, other than that, I really do love my chuggers. And that is all I have on my needles. So, I know. Notice there's still no sweater. I know. I don't know. I want to cast it on, but I don't know. <laughs> so, anyway, so that's it for all my needles. And I see my one little object that I got off the needles. Alrighty. I got one thing off. Oh. Off the, not the needles, it's actually, or off my claws, it is off my claws, but it's, I crocheted it. So, and it is the Easy Cat Cage Nubby Blanket by Constance Perala. I'm off my pronouncing thing. But, um, and it's a free pattern on, um, forever. But, here it is. So. It was a very easy crochet. Uh, it's a free pattern and it's just, I think it was just like a double crochet and a 
single crochet across. But it's very easy. And I held two strands of yarn together to make it kind of thick. And I just used, um, is it Burnett? Uh, satin, I think that's what it was. And I used a pink color and a white. And I made this for, um, to send to, um, Don and James because they're collecting blankets for the, uh, oh, the, for the dogs and cats at their local vet and at the other, uh, big place where Fuji's getting her chemo. So, got two done. My cats enjoy laying on them while <laughs> I get things done. I want to get about four done. And I have like a bunch of this other acrylic yarn. And I think I'm going to try to do like a pretty good dog size blanket. Because I think they probably get, you know, not as many. Because it takes more yarn. <laughs> so that's what I'm going to try to do next. So that is all I got for off my claws. So... Go to partners. Okay, purrs. I got a few things to share. One is this t-shirt. <laughs> Did you love it? It makes me smile. And speaking of minions, I don't know if I don't know if it's it's probably you can probably get it for your Android or iPad, but I have it on my iPad and on my phone, and it is called Minions Rush, and it's just a a game like a Minions Rush, but it, and you just kind of have to jump over stuff. I don't know. I enjoy it. The Minions make me laugh, so. I like it, so if you like the minions and you like games, you might want to check it out. And what else? Okay. My birthday is actually today. My birthday. And my husband got me got me. Meaning he I ordered it and said it was from him. <laughs> but that's okay. I got me a set of the small interchangeable Haya Haya needles. And I think it's size 2 through 6. I think that's like the biggest. Yeah, getting old. Oh, uh, yeah, size 6. I haven't used them yet. I'm gonna probably try them this weekend. I need to knit my aunt some um, slippers so and they come with the needles and the little thing with jiggers that you really uh, I mean make the little tighteners and a pretty pouch so got my high eye so I'm excited to use them check them out and then Dawn knitting with. She sent me a little something something. Oh, here I the drawer. Forget. Got the little birthday card. And I like the little stickers she put on the. Are they cute? I like it. They're cute. And she gave me some happy birthday lotion, soap. And it smells really good, like a birthday cake. And it makes me want a birthday cake. And then she gave me this little soft marker with a daisy. One of my favorite flowers. So I need a little sock for it. That's cute. And then she gave me some yarn. It is called tri Triple. I think that's what it is. Triple periwinkle sheep. Soft dream is 80% uh, superwash merino, 10% cashmere, and 10% uh, 
nylon. And it is like really soft. I'm gonna have to be like put on and just like wear it around. It's really nice. So thank you, Dawn. I really appreciate it and I love everything. And my yeah, mom gave me a toaster <laughs> for my birthday. I was needing it. And oh, also speaking of McCorm, I ordered him. Um, Luke is like trying to climb up the wall. Luke, what are you doing? Yes. But anyhow, yeah, um, I wanted to um, try their apple crisp. It's on sale this month. So if you haven't tried it, get some. This is like the best smelling stuff. It is. I love it. It's my new favorite scent. I really love it. I mean, he's trying to climb the wall. I don't know what he's doing over there. Luke, you can't go up a wall. Cats. And I think, let me make sure I'm my show notes. Nope, I think that's it for Purge, which, I'm sorry, he's distracted me. <laughs> he's bad. It's been raining all day, so the cats are, the cats are like, I think going a little cabin. Did you hear that? They're going crazy because they can't go out. Yeah, so, anyway. I guess next we will go to in the sun patch and meet Penny. Okay, today y'all are going to meet my outside cat Penny. And I should have had the picture up, but I'm sorry, I didn't get it. I don't know if y'all be able to see his cover, but oh, there he is. Yeah, that is Penny, and um, she's one of my outside cats. I thought I had another picture of her. She is. I've had her for. Let's see. Um, I don't see the other picture, but I've had her for. Nine years, probably. Um, I remember one night I was looking out in the front porch to see if any raccoons were outside. Cause I used to, I used to feed the birds a lot, and they would always, you know, any food the birds didn't eat, the raccoons would <laughs> take care of. And I looked out the porch window or the front door window, and I saw this cat out there, and she saw me. She took off, and then. I don't know if it was like the next day or a few days later and I was outside sitting on the porch and um, she came and I had to put some food out for her, of course, and um, she ended up coming up to me and I started, it was like from about March, so it was still kind of getting cold at night, so I would put her up in the shed so at night and uh, I didn't realize it, but she had kittens. <laughs> So then one day I come home from work and she brought all her kittens and put them in the shed. So I had to like chase down kittens and take them all to the vet and find them home and get her fixed. And so she's been with me ever since. And um, she really, it's really strange because some cats that have been around here she has liked, others she didn't like. There was one cat, Milo, and he was like mean to her though, so I can understand her not liking him. And then like right now there's uh as y'all met Bart and Rosie. I don't think they really do anything to her, but she just doesn't like them for some reason. And then she'll tolerate Buster, <laughs> which is outside. But um Buddy and Teddy, who are no longer with us, but she she was okay with them. They they were okay. And when Tony used to be outside, she, he was okay. So I don't really know what it is that makes her say, "Okay, you're okay." So, but um, so she stays in the shed a lot now. I think I mentioned that before. And like I said, it has windows, and she has you know, food, water, litter box, beds, 
a pretty good size area, so she seems happy, especially today when she's not in the rain. <laughs> so, but like it's starting to cool down now, so I'll probably try to get her outside and maybe get where she will tolerate Buddy and oh not Buddy, <laughs> Bart and Rosie, so that she can, you know, go in and out as she pleases. So, but we'll see how that works out. But she is. Very sweet. She loves her little head rub. And she's one of those cats when you start rubbing her head, she drools. I don't know. But she loves her head rub. Um, she's very sweet and um, just a, a good little kitty cat. And um, I guess since I can't think of anything else, I can't think of anything else. So I guess that's it for this week. Thank y'all for watching and let me make sure I haven't forgotten nothing. I don't think I have. So I will see y'all next week. Bye.